Hey, what's up guys? This is Poker Express, and we are back with another episode of Poker Hands. Today, we're going to be taking a look over some poker flops with incredible action as a lot of players involved hit a monster. Before getting into it, I would like to ask you guys to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy our videos, as your support is allowing us to continue posting videos on a daily basis. JD is just kind of playing his own game, staying out of the line of fire. Swizzle stick, visor, couple buttons down from the shirt. I like this guy. He looks down at nine eight of clubs and looks like he's going to come in and play. He just limps in, though. Action folded around now to Earl Macon in the big blind. I'm sure he's still thinking about that last hand where he tangled up with Joe. I know I would. He looks down at King three offsuit and he just checks his option. Getting back to that last hand, could he have bet more after the flop to maybe get Joe to lay his hand down? Well, he would have had to raise Joe's flop bet. And, you know, I don't really think that that would have been the best play. I think he could have gone all in pre-flop. I know they were really deep. I think there was a couple of things with that hand. There's a dynamic that they have that's extra aggressive. So if I were Earl, I might have just gone all in pre-flop. But, you know, you can't be result oriented as we see. If he went all in pre-flop, he would have been eliminated. So sure. you never know in those situations. Well, Earl, a nice little flop for him here. King, King, five. And the nine of hearts comes off on the turn. Both players check. Earl trying to trap JD there. But he actually trapped himself because the seven of clubs comes on the river giving JD a flush. So Earl is going to go ahead and bet 205,000. Action now over to JD. JD raises with his flush and Earl let his trips go so fast. It's like these players have a lot of experience playing with each other and Earl didn't even need to see his cards to know that JD rivered the flush. It seems to be one of those things that uh, it's, it's bad form to, to lie about your hand, but uh, if you're asked, it's compulsory. I heard Parag Parkinson say that one time, to volunteer it. It's a bit like fishing this game, Jesse, you know? I caught a fish this size. Raised to 175 total. 50 plus 125 is the first time Karen Leary yeah. has raised. 175 plus. Yeah, quick call from Hessel. We've seen some action tonight. It's about uh, 150 on Bruno. And he's in a mood to gamble. He's, he's, yeah. 125. Paul is playing this hand. Well, Paul's going to love this if it yeah. comes a king, isn't he? Kieran on King Jack. It's four ways now. God, don't it. The Jack and the uh, five! Case Jack, case Jack. I, you dare say this is the end of Bruno Fatusi. Well, it's top set again for Peter. And bottom set for Bruno. Oh. And uh, Kieran O'Leary has top pair oh, as well. Wow. This is unbelievable. Just we could see a, a lot of money in this pot. Wow. Bruno's kind of gotten railroaded tonight. Ah, oh, wow. Unbelievable. I can't see him getting away from this, Jesse. The bet is 275. And first, what is O'Leary going to do? He's got top pair, and Fatusi's let into him. I'm sure he's going to come, come in here for the back. Cool. Cool. Is that, what is that, the 500? It's, it's fine. Yeah. Is Peter just called, 12, Jesse? 000. No. It's 1,200 titles. It's raised to the 1,200. Raised. 12 titles. He doesn't like the diamonds. 975. Wow. I bet you call and you re raise. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's going on? Mike. <laughs> Can you still win your bet or not? It's finished? It's been, I can't I help you, because I, I would have made a bet with you, maybe, you know, if I can do something. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing I can do anymore. <laughs> I got wow. the side there. Unless I didn't announce somebody who got broke. You know, Bruno's very yeah, suspicious, but mm. surely there's only one thing he can do here. Mm. He's a, he's a class player to take his time. Most people would have shoved the money in already. Oh, yeah. Do you think he's, he's thinking that Heslin could have three sevens here? 
Okay. Here, play it down. He's hooked. Cool. What player was that that was down? Number six. Why has he chosen just to call? <laughs> to give give Kiaran a chance to get involved in the hand. I think he's suspicious. These have not been easy hands dealt out. People who think poker is all luck and very easy, uh, you get to well, see, you get to see what a world class player is when he puts down a hand right. that everybody would have shoved their money in on. <coughs> For sure. The Irishman does lay it down. That's what I saw. He's not happy, but he knows he made the right move. Tusi needs a five. Check. He knew if he re-raised all in, he could only get called if he was beat. But this way, he's given Hessel the chance to block. Oh, he's there. Yeah, that's all just happened, hasn't it? And we are going to lose our first player unless the five comes. Wow. Four seventy-five in Tyson. I mean, four seventy-five. Four seventy-five in Tyson. <laughs> well, he doesn't know what hit him. Thank you, guys. It's over. Good luck to all of you. And you can do it. Good luck. If you enjoy our videos and would like to see more, make sure to check out the links in the description. Also, make sure to comment below what you would like to see next, and we will work on your ideas as soon as possible. Too, too much, and I like Peter's play as well. It, it does seem like guys like O'Leary, McAvoy, and Donahue. Are, they haven't been picking up many hands, but they're not doing themselves any damage yeah, in the process. Yes, yeah. Which is a, a big talent sometimes, isn't For it? For sure, yeah. I mean, Kieran is completely car dead, but he, he still has his dart and stack. He's got away from a few hands as well. The uh, under the gun raise by O'Donoghue has gotten Wong to call in the big blind. And this is pretty much a disaster for Steve Wong. Donahue's flopped the set, and Wong's got a flush it's, draw. It's, I think it's over for Steve. 25% to win if the chips go all in. He's, it, he's gonna make a move here. There's, there's just too much history between these guys, yeah. right? Yeah. Take your time, lads. Take your time. Cool. Well, he's just called. He's just called. Wow. But, uh, Ivan just licking his chops. Oh, he likes this call. <laughs> this is the second time he's played a hand against Wong. And now he's oh, made a full all, house. Five and checks here, and we get a club on the river. It'll be certainly over. Check. You called it. You called it, Finton. The club is the ah, end. Ah, that's it. And Steve Wong, uh, he's a world traveler, and uh, he can't get away. <laughs> it could be the airport for him. Nothing has gone right for Wong. It's all gone it's wrong. Ivan. Pretending he doesn't know what he has. Well, the bet's 700, and I think Wong has about, oh, 24 or so left. How so, big is this raise going to be? Raise 21. We raised all in. Raise, re-raise, all in, flush, but Donaghy with the full wow. house. and There was only one outcome there when that club came on the river. And that is the stack of someone who is very healthy in chips, Kanda King. It's cool. Diana Ram in the big blind, and looks like we've had another knockout behind us, but the action will go on. Gail Yeomans, is it on me? It is. Pass, pass. Raise to 400. Raise announced from Liza Burnett on the button. Re-raise. Uh-oh. Raise and re-raise. Liza's out on her arm. To nine. And look at this. Aggression from Kanda King. Us. Diana's out of play. And uh, Gail's got a decision. It's been raised and re-raised behind. Ooh, well, That's Roy. the second time we've seen Gail limp him with a big hand. This time she's going nowhere. She set a trap. Us. Oh, my oh no! Oh no, she's laid down the Queen's Roy. She thought Kanda had a big in the raise and the re raise. And look at this. Oh my! Eliza Burnett's flopped the straight, and Kanda's got a set. And Gail's flopped, folded the Queen's. Oh, this is incredible. A set, a straight, and a Ace. pair of Queen's passed. Oh, the chips may all be going in here. And these are two big stacks. 
Roy, that has made three clubs on board. Cool. It's just 600 bet and cold. Well, one more club could slow everyone down. Beyond that, the money must go in. Five. Straight is leading. 1,000. 2,000. Raised to 2,000. Call. Just a call. Just a call. Incredible. Three <laughs> of a kind versus a flop straight. How on earth they didn't get the money in on the flop or turn, I don't know. Liza said she was scared of the clubs. Kanda King will have to consider herself lucky there, Roy, that she didn't do her wallop. Large, and that's Kiran O'Leary. This, of course, this main table is just one of 30-odd tables going in this tournament now, but what a table we've got. Fantastic. And I think the action is on the hangman, Paul Roper, who's in the big blind here. All chips still in play, green 25s, black 100s, pink 500s, red 1000s, blues are 5,000, and purples are worth 10,000 each. What did you bet somebody bust out before 15, 30 minutes? Might be me. And, uh, oh, look at the hands here. Mike Sexton's got the nut flush draw, and it's top pair for Bruno Fatusi. Because first hand of the tournament, we could see some big pot. 250. Fitting the bet's 250, and I mean, Bruno's not folding. No way, no way. Bruno fancies his hand. Cool. Even though Bruno's a favorite here, there's not much in it right now, and if the club comes, he's going to be in big trouble. Mike has also the ace to hit. Check. That was the pair Mike didn't want to hit. Now, a lot of guys would slow down here, Fenton. Uh, not Mike. Cool. I mean, these are two of the most feared players on this table, so whoever wins this pot, Sexton needs an eight, an ace, or a club. Oh, wow. Well. Check. What bet size do you think Mike's going to make her to get paid off? There's 1,800 in the pot. 15, yeah. maybe. 800. The pink chip's worth 500. The black's worth 100. And Bruno's in the tank now. Do you like the way he's played this hand? It's a good bet. He wants to get paid. I'm sure Bruno's going to call this for 800. No? Maybe money with these I don't know. Nice hand, Mr. Sexton, today. Well, he's laid it down. Mike Sexton has won the hand, but a great fold by Bruno Fatusi.